So when you first learn to play ukulele, um, probably the first strumming pattern that you learn to do is just go down. One, two, three, four, just like that. Pieces in between the downbeats, um, like if you're tapping your foot when your foot comes up, that's a good spot for an up strum, and that's um, something that we, as ukulele players, probably learn next. Um, we go from down, 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 to down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. If you want to come up with something a little more detailed than that, um, you can divide each beat into four pieces. Think of it this way. One E and a two E and a three E and a four. I'm saying one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Having those four syllables, number E and a, gives me something to identify each of those smaller beats when I break my large beat into four pieces. Um, when we do two pieces, we say one and. When we do four pieces, we say one E and a. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So you see, I didn't have to change my tempo. Um, I'm taking up the same amount of space, but I'm just doing more with it. One song that I think of that uses this sort of pattern is You Can't Always Get What You Want by the Rolling Stones. That sounds like this. I'm kind of thinking of that strumming pattern the same way as these exercises where I'm going one, two, a three, and four, and a one, two, a three, and four, and a one, two, a three, and four, and a one, two, a three, and four, and uh, And if you want to see that strumming pattern for you can't always get what you want, I uh, have it written down here. Let me pop it up on the screen for you. So uh, you can't always get what you want. It goes down, down. Up, down, 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 up, down, up. One, two, a three, and four, and a one, two, a three, and four, and a. So you can see that it incorporates this sort of this idea of breaking your beat into four smaller pieces. Um, here on beat one, you're just doing a down strum for all of beat one. Beat two, we've got a down strum on the two. We're resting on two e and. So the e and, we're not really doing anything, but we are strumming up on the uh. So we have to think about that beat in four little pieces so we can catch that up strum. Um, two E and a, down, a, down, rest, rest, up, right? Um, beat three, down, down. Um, three and, three E and a. Where we would up strum, we're just resting there. And then beat four, we're using all of those four little mini beats. Down, up, down, up, four E and a. So all together, you've got this combination of different rhythmic divisions. One, two, a three and four e and a one, two, a three and four e and a one, two, a three and four e and a one, two, a three and four e and. That said, um, let's take a look at a couple of practice strumming patterns that you can do to feel more comfortable dividing your big beats into four pieces. Um, <clears throat> you might hear musicians refer to this as a sixteenth note. Uh, and the reason for that is if I have four beats, and four, there's four, four beats, and each of them are made up of four smaller parts, four plus four plus four plus four is 16. Each one of those little teeny segments is a 16th of our whole um, measure of music, our whole four beat bar of music. So let's look at the first one. So the first practiced strum that you can try goes like this. I'll give a count off first so you can kind of hear it um, with the beat, with the big beats. So here's my count off. One, two, three, four. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. The second one, 
it's really the same thing we just did, but um, flipped. So our down, up, down, up comes first, and then our down, down. So this one goes down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. Or you could think of it this way. One E and a two and three E and a four and. Okay, so that's the second one. Um, let's look at strumming pattern C. This one is a little trickier. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up. Um, or you could say it with the syllables. Go one E, a uh, two E, a uh, three E, a uh, four E, a uh, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Up, down, up, up. One, two, three, four. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up. Great. That's a tricky one. And lastly, um, last of these exercise uh, strumming practices is this one. And it goes down. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Um, or you could think of it this way. One, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a down, down, up. like that. So uh, if you're inclined to practice those the little practice 16th note rhythms, I think it'll really help a lot with like even hearing and being able to like figure out different strumming patterns by ear. And the other great thing about it is the more you can break a beat into smaller pieces evenly and like keep time with that just makes your overall time, your overall ability to keep a straight rhythm a lot better because you can be aware of these smaller pieces and how far apart they should be spaced. So that's a lot of rhythmic stuff, but I hope it's helpful to you and in your practice. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at natquickmusic at gmail.com or leave a comment below the video. And thanks for watching.